spicy yellow Ferrari. One dollar build. Ferrari, another Ferrari, another Ferrari. Closest person to guess the price will be getting an RK Motorsports shirt. All right, guys, I am pulling into Copart right now. We are in Newburgh, New York, and we're gonna go pick up our 2012 Honda CBR 600 RR. As you can see, big Copart sign, we are here. Let's pull in. I gotta check in. I'll see if they can bring the bike out to me. All right, guys, so we just got checked in. I'm here sitting in the parking lot, and you can see some of the other cars. Look right in here. You can see a bike in the back of the bed, and you can see another motorcycle sitting right there. Kind of neat how they're towing those bikes. They're just throwing it in the back of the salvage pickup truck bed. Got the other one just strapped down right there. It looks like a Harley of some kind. Pretty cool what you see here. Never know what you're going to see. I actually do know that there's a Ferrari 458, I believe it is. 2014. It's like bright yellow. I believe that is here at the yard too. I'm going to see if I can get a sneak peek. If I can't, I'll pop a couple pictures here right now. I was watching the bidding for that when I was bidding on the CBR. And I think the bidding for that Ferrari ended up getting up to like $117,000. And it still didn't sell. All right, guys. So I am heading back into the Copart yard right now. Brief glimpse through the trees. Look at all those cars that are in there. Thousands of cars here right now. Now this is my first time at this yard, so I don't know if I'm actually going the right way, but we will soon find out. Another glimpse at some of those vehicles. Cars all over the place. Take a look at those ones. All right, guys, I see the Ferrari. This is like their exotic lot. Check this out right here. That yellow Ferrari right there. That's that one I was telling you guys about. Woo! So sick. So I think I can park down here. They're gonna help me get loaded. Uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, guys, we're getting the VIP tour. Hopping in here, following the loader. I'm gonna get this bike. And just like I thought, we're getting VIP access to the exotic car lot right up in here. Check this out, guys. All these bikes. All right, we'll load it up. All right, guys, as always, these bikes are as is, where is. So if there's any hidden damage, I can't really do much about it now. I just gotta get it loaded up and out of here. All right, guys, got to make it quick, but these are the other bikes that are here. Got the Harley, Ninja 300s, not too crazy. Got a 636 here. I think this one, that one was kind of rough. Not too much here. Harley with some fake carbon fiber on it. Pretty beefy. And we got some exotics over there. There's that Ferrari. Looks like we got a Vanderhall over there. Slingshot, we got a Ferrari. Let's see if I can do a quick drive-by for you guys. Got the Ferrari. Rolls Royce. Got a Porsche, Beamer, another Rari, another Ferrari, another Ferrari, holy shit. Look at all those guys. Got a Bentley back there. Oh, look at that old jalopy. So sick. So glad that we were able to get in here into the little VIP lot. Another sneak peek at all those cars over there. There's thousands here, guys. Literally straight ahead, look at all those cars out there. Crazy, crazy stuff. I just noticed there's a McLaren chilling back there too. And there is that spicy yellow Ferrari. Look at that thing. $117,000 the bid went up to and it still did not sell. That's crazy. And there's the back side of that Ferrari. You crashed in pretty good. And the 
Vanderholm, the Slingshot. Crazy stuff here, guys. There's so much money in wrecked vehicles. It's crazy. And it really makes you wonder, like, what some of the people do with, like, cars like that. Now, that yellow Ferrari, I believe, is a flood vehicle. It said it was a run and drive vehicle. So, I mean, it could probably be fine, but there's probably some hidden damage for sure. Figured I'd give you a little sneak peek at some of those other vehicles that are here. There's all those transit vans again as we make our way out. So, we got our CBR 600. Let's get back to the shop. So I'm on my way back right now. Traffic is pretty much at a standstill. I don't know if there's an accident or something up ahead, but we still got about two and a half hours left in our journey. And if there's an accident up here, I will let you guys see. We are barely moving right now. Uh-oh, somebody got the cuffs on. Looked like they were searching the car and the guy was in handcuffs. Oh boy, we back on the road, hammer down. All right guys, so I just got the bike unloaded. This thing is looking pretty dirty. You can see all this dust and everything on the seat, on the plastics. So it's gonna be a little bit harder for us to really kind of see the scratches versus the dirt. So I'm gonna wash this thing really quick and then we're gonna go over all the damage on this thing. This bike really is not looking bad guys. So let's wash her up and then let's take a look at the damage. All right, guys, we got her all cleaned up. She's all nice and washed. Now, real quick, before I go forward with this video, I want you guys to pause this video and put in the comments below what you think I paid for this bike after taxes, after fees, all that stuff, what my price was picking it from auction. Closest person in the comments to guess the price will be getting an RK Motorsports shirt. I will ship it out to you. Hop in the comments, pause this video. Let me know what you guys think I paid for this. Now let's check over the damage. So as I was washing this thing, I could not believe how clean the finish is on these fairings the previous owner of this bike must have taken really good care washed it waxed it because this water was beating off of these fairings these almost look flawless besides some really minor scratches that are you know just come with age and of course we have the damage over here that was actually from the accident now a little note to you guys you see all these little marker pen markings on the bike we got some up here some down here these are marks from the insurance adjuster. So when somebody gets into an accident and they claim their bike through insurance, the insurance adjuster will go through. I've seen them use little pieces of tape for marking the damage pieces. I've seen paint pen marks. Sometimes you don't see any markings and they just jot down notes on their clipboard. If you see the little pen markings like this on the fairings, that means that the insurance adjuster has gone through, marked the areas that they noticed were damaged, and these are some of the pieces that are gonna be factored into their total estimate for cost for what it would be to repair this bike. Now, as you can see, you know, it looks like it's mostly fairings on this. Sometimes insurance will total out a bike or a car 
even if it's just a matter of them not being able to get the parts. So this is a 2012 Honda CBR 600. If they can't get access to the OEM fairings, they might consider it a total loss because they can't bring it back to how it was before the accident. So that could be what happened here. So let's take a look real quick at all the pieces that were damaged. Starting off down here, the front fender, we have a very, very minor surface rash. We've seen way worse than this little bit. So we got that little scuffing here on our front fairing very very minimal damage right here on the edge of this front fairing and i honestly it looks like they marked this piece but i don't even see any damage on this piece right here so it looks like they might have marked this piece by accident up here very common if a bike's been tipped over you're gonna get a little scratching little rash on the end of the clutch or brake lever so we can see they marked it off here a little bit ground down really nothing crazy at all little bit there and we have a little bit of scuffing on the end of our handlebar looks like they also marked the front left turn signal if you look underneath here there's a little bit of rashing a little hard to see and you can see it kind of popped out of its little rubber boot here all i got to do is kind of push this rubber piece in and i should be able to get that straight moving back on the bike a little bit more you can see right here where i showed you previously on the tank we have very very minor scuffing right on the edge of this body line right here very minimal scuffing down here a little bit more this is where some of the more heavy damage occurred to the fairings you can see they marked this whole area with that red outline got some scuffing right here on the edge a little bit up here on this piece and this piece right here so even though these three pieces are damaged these pieces cover pretty much the whole left side fairing so they pretty much need all these to be replaced in order to get it back to where it was originally before the accident and you can get a little better idea from down here looks like that's a little heavier damage right here and that's i know i think the stator cover is right behind here i'm not sure if that punctured through into the stator cover could be some hidden damage but honestly it looks like just cosmetic on the fairings right here and down below looks very clean moving to the back of the bike foot pegs nothing here usually you see these all scratched up these look good nothing on our side pegs here these look really clean and again we've got that paint mark line right here with some minor minor scuffing on the edge of the body line on our tail fairing we also have some very minor rash on our rear swing arm spool that can be replaced i'm not worried about that and we have a broken lens on our rear turn signal looks like it might have gotten busted out a little bit we should be able to push that back into place get a new lens for that and we'll be styling looks like there might be some other very minimal scratches i mean these could have been from the tow yard from when they picked the bike after the accident looks like very minor scratches there a little bit on the seat we've got <laughs> one little scratch on the fairing here that they circled up some other very minimal like surface scratches and stuff like that really nothing that's standing out too much and the other thing i missed up here we've got some scratches on our left mirror kind of hard to see but we do have some scratching right there now i actually have not heard this bike run yet in the listing for the auction it was marked as the bike runs and drives but they didn't have a video of the bike with the engine running now i was just about to go turn this on and i saw this in here right down here check this out guys we have a one dollar bill that's wrapped up around the clutch cable <laughs> i actually saw that in the pictures for the bike before it went up to auction and i could not believe that this is actually still here i thought somebody at the yard would have taken that <laughs> there's a well, so i got a dollar off my purchase look at that thing look at that dollar bill can't believe that dollar's on there so let's get this thing fired up 14,866 miles. I just want to check the oil real quick. I didn't see any leaks or anything. Okay, oil is in there. Not sure if it showed up on camera, but there is oil. Let's turn the key and let's see if we can get this thing started. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, wow, rookie move. Did not have the kill switch gone. Let's try this again, guys. Woo! A great success. She's quiet, she's quiet all right. Got that stock exhaust on there. Fired right up guys. Engine sounds really healthy. I cannot believe that they actually totaled this bike out for such minimal damage. Got her warmed up now, we got about 150. 
Now, if you guys are wondering, that's just condensation coming out the back. It's a little chilly out today, but this thing sounds unbelievable for the mileage. All right, guys, let's take this bad girl for a rip. Oh, this thing's so smooth. Guys, I literally cannot believe that they ended up totaling this bike out for such little damage. Unbelievable. She is a ripper. Oh my God. There's no weird noises, no hesitations. This thing is minty. Brakes work awesome. Front brakes, rear brakes unbelievable what a score this thing is 2012 cbr 600 with 14,800 miles cannot believe it so again let me know in the comments below what you guys think i paid for this i will be giving out a rk motorsports t-shirt to whoever gets the closest and uh yeah let me know in the comments below with that and i'll see you guys in the next one peace